Ashwajibalamet Tinumbu has ordered the DSS to charge Godwin Emifile to court. Um, this is Godwin Emifile stepping out from the car. And um, we can see in Lagos here, we can see that um, Godwin Emifile is in court today. And um, I believe that um, Ashwajibalamet Tinumbu must follow the rules and regulation of this country. Because without that, we cannot move forward. Because no matter how, if our leaders don't follow the rule and regulation of, a, of the country, then we can never move forward. But I really love the write-up of a senior advocate of Nigeria. And I want everybody to just at least, you know, for like five minutes to just listen to this write-up. It's a very great, you know, write-up that I want everybody to share together so that we can share together. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Joseph Daudu, says the case of suspended detained governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifile, will serve as a test of President Bola Tinubu's respect of the rule of law. Daud, who is a counsel for Emifile, stated this on Thursday, shortly after the Federal Capital Territory High Court, Abuja, gave the Department of the State Service a seven-day ultimatum to either release Emifili, who has been in detention since June 10, or arraigned in, in court if they have a case against him. Yes, um, now, as we can see, um, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu has ordered the DSS to charge him to court. And as you can see, you can see him stepping out of the car, you know, to go and face his charges. But what I, I, want, to, I want us to get something from this writer. Justice Amza Muhazu gave the order why the ruling of the fundamental right enforcement suit filed by Amy Philip through the hood to challenge his arrest and continue detention by the DSS. Justice Mazu held that though the DSS has constitutional power to arrest, detain, and prevent the internal crime, the power must be exercised within the ad admit of the law. Consequently, the judge held that the continued detention of Emifili by the secret police without a trial amounted to a gross violation of the fundamental human right. Detention, no matter how small, can amount to a breach of the fundamental right, the judge said. He said since the allegation against Emifili were bailable offense, the DSS ought to have granted him administrative bill pending his prosecution. However, the court dismissed Dowd argument that Emifili detention was illegal, noting that the detention was backed by the law order of a magistrate court. You know, um, we believe that the federal government, you know, suspended Godwin Emifili. And after suspending him, they arrested him and, you know, he's under investigation. So the federal government have right to do that. But what they are saying is, you know, it's becoming too long. How many, how many months do you want to use for investigation to investigate this person? If you really know that this man really, you know, breached the, the rules and regulation of his institu institution. So to me, I believe that they're supposed to, you know, grant Godwin a Mayfield bill because um, his offense is bailable. I believe that they bail him today because it's almost two months now. So I don't know the reason why they want to continue detaining this man. If there is another thing there, they should let us know about it. Not that we just, you know, the breach the constitution of the country. We all know that the offense is bailable. So let this man be coming from home. You know, he cannot run away. So I don't understand why the DSS, the Secret Service, are doing something like this. But let's see what is going to happen today and see maybe, you know, they are going to give him bail. But I'll be so happy if um, Godwin Emifili, you know, unite with his family because it's, it's, it's almost two months now that they arrested him. So I will say more than this. This is Face TV Africa.